Hello Thinksters and welcome to a new Pandas tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn how to apply the Pandas function factorize. And this is a function that encodes an object as an enumerated type and determines the object's unique values. So to get started we will first see how the, um, how the function factorize works at a base level. Um, so we first of all import the Pandas library and then we apply the factorize function, which we assign a list of characters. And so we set this function then equal to uh, the two variables codes and uniques. And we do that with two uh, values or two variables because we get two return values. So when we execute that, we have the codes value here. And here's the uniques value. So uh, codes is an array that contains the numeric values from the initial list. And um, we can observe that uh, the, there are numeric values uh, assigned to each unique character in the original list. So for example, uh, uh, the letter or the character C is the first value in the original list. And it is, it is assigned the numeric, numeric value zero uh, because it is the first one and a computer program starts counting at zero. So uh, C gets it assigned the numeric value zero. And for example, B is uh, the next value from the list. If we look from left to right, the next unique value. So uh, B is the next uh, value here and the next numeric value would be 1. So B is assigned the value 1. And uh, the data type for the codes array is int64 because we have uh, integer values here exclusively. And we also get uh, uniques as an output and this shows the unique values from the initial list which are C, B, D and A. And they are presented here in the order that they occur in the original list. So uh, the list we put in here, as we can see, uh, has some letters from the alphabet. However, in this initial list, uh, these letters are not ordered alphabetically. Um, and when we, uh, the factorize function provides a par parameter that uh, is called sort, and we can apply that here inside the function and we can set this to true to basically sort the numeric values in a way. So let's do this here. I will just copy that and add the and add the parameter sort and set it equal to true. So, um, again, I output here the codes and the uniques. And codes now shows the array with the, with the numbers for the unique characters uh, being alphabetically ordered. For example, um, C is assigned the numeric value 2 because this is the third letter in the alphabet. And remember that the computer program starts counting at zero. So two is the third value and not the second one. And for example, B is uh, assigned the numeric value one because it is the second, the second uh, value in the, or the second character in the alphabet. And the output uh, uniques now shows the unique values uh, in the alphabetical order. So we have A, B, C, and D. And when we didn't sort that, we had C, B, D, and A. It can also be that we get some uh, missing values in our, uh, in our list. For example, a non-value. And to show what the function does with that, we can just um, replace one of the values with a non-value. We take the C here and we just type none. And again, we output the codes and the uniques. And we can see um, 
that there is uh, a minus one value in the uh, codes array for the non value. Um, that's because there is a parameter, uh, it's called nar sentinel, that's used to handle missing values. And uh, as, as we can see, we didn't apply this parameter here, we didn't specify it. So, so the function takes this parameter's default value, and this is minus one. However, we can, of course, change this, change this value. we apply this uh, parameter and let's just take minus 10 and this way uh, we get the value numeric value minus 10 for the non value I can also again output the uniques and as we can see that um, in both these examples the Unique's array was the same. It's in both cases C, B, D, and A, just like in the initial initial uh, factorized function that we applied, because the non value does not count as a unique value. Um, we can also set this um, now sentinel value to none, or this now sentinel parameter. Sorry. So this way, um, the none value in the initial list gets assigned the numeric value uh, four in the in the codes array. And that's because by setting the um, nar sentinel parameter equal to none, we do not uh, drop the nanu uh, non value, but we basically count it in. So uh, since the other characters C, B, D, and A get the numeric values uh, 1, 2, 3, 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3, respectively, the uh, non value gets the next numeric value, which would be 4. And also in the uniques array, this way we can find the value nan after the other characters because um, this way we basically count in the non values or the missing values. We can also factorize uh, other pandas objects. By now we have only factorized uh, lists. Um, but if we factorize other pandas objects, we get uh, different types of um, different uh, output types for the unique for the unique uh, value. And now we will factorize a panda series. So uh, as I said, we factorize a panda series here and the resulting codes array is structured the same way as the examples above um, because we get numeric representations for our characters combined in this array. However, the uniques uh, array or the uniques output has changed because now it's not anymore of the type array, but it is now um, the type index instead of array. And we could also, for example, factorize a categorical object. So we do this pd dot categorical. Again, the codes array is from the type 
array, just like before, but uniques is now from the type uh, categories. So there's also another type of, uh, another output type that we can get here. And there's one special thing about the categorical uh, that happens when we assign the categorical parameter categories to it. And this is how it looks like. We just do essentially the same as before, but we apply this parameter categories and we assign this list. So, um, as I said, we take the same characters for the factorization as in the two examples before. But this time we apply the categories parameter and we sign up this list uh, with the characters A, B, C, and D. And they determine which categories we want to get. And as we can see in the category list, there's a C. However, there is no C in the list that gets categorized. Um, or that gets factorized, A, B, A, D. And um, as we can see, the codes array basically remains unchanged, but uh, the uniques array now has the C added to the categories list, although there is uh, no C to be factorized at all. So uh, all in all, we learned uh, all about the pandas function factorize in this tutorial. We learned the basic functionality of this method. We learned how to sort the values, how to handle missing values, and how to factorize different kinds of pandas objects. And yeah, that was the tutorial. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. And I see you in the next one.